Well, got something in the mail today. I bought this, not that I needed one, I just uh, I keep seeing them on eBay, so I figured, well, I better buy one. Uh, they're super cheap, and maybe uh, maybe somebody's interested in it also, and trying to figure out whether they whether they need to buy it or not. Um, it is some type of a generator, and uh, it obviously has uh, some buttons here, frequency plus and minus, and duty plus and minus, so it must output some type of square wave with a duty cycle. And then the other giveaway is over here, the output is marked uh, PWM, so pulse width modulation. And it re just requires uh, 5 volts on the input, and it has some type of uh, display on it. And on the back is uh, parts. Uh, I would imagine, well, I'm not going to imagine what they are. Um, let's see here, where is my magnifying glass? Here we go. So the big part is a uh, uh, hotel hot hot like uh, H uh, HQ or H O uh, H O or HQ. I don't know how to pronounce this thing. I think it's H O HQ. No H Q T L T E K. Um, and the part number is oh wow I got a glare. Uh, HT1621B, and then the other part is a mystery part. I don't think it's marked. Uh, I can't see any writing at all on the mystery part. And then there's a regulator, probably regulates it down, and some type of load resistor here, a one big fat 1K. I don't know what that's for. And then there's a serial port, which I don't know what that is. I guess you can maybe you can program this thing, uh, ground, transmit, and receive. So anyway, let's power it up and see what it does. I have no idea. Uh, let's see, the part number here is a HW-753, oh, whatever that is. <laughs> uh, so let's put five volts on it. Uh, let's see here, uh, plus, minus, and oh, there we go. Ah, so we have a little display. You can see that. Uh, out and percent here. So that must be the duty cycle, 50% and five something. Uh, we hit the plus key. Uh, it says set. And then it says out. So I guess it just sets it and then bang, makes it happen. And then the duty cycle also set and then out. All right. Let's pick up a scope and see what this thing does. And it looks like a square wave. See here. Looks good. And it's set to the number 5.00. And I have the counter on, it says 5.01 kilohertz. So that's uh, 5 dot kilohertz. So let's see what kind of range it has. We can go, we can go up in frequency. Uh, I'm holding the frequency key down. Let's see here. Let me let me zoom it up a bit. Uh, there it goes. So it's it's getting. Uh, I'm holding it down, so the set is happening at the same time. So what does that read? Twenty five point eight, something like that. And five plus seven. All right, let's see how far we can get it up here. Um, I will hold it down. That's the only thing you can do. So I'm assuming this is 70 kilohertz, 80 kilohertz, 90 kilohertz. Ah, we get an extra decimal place, 1.5. So I imagine that's uh, 80 kilohertz, so 150, 150 kilohertz. Let's go over here. And... Looks like we have 150 kilohertz. Changer. And it's not exactly 50%, is it? <laughs> I would not call it 50%. Oh well, so the duty cycle is not accurate either. All right, let's see how far we can go. Oh, that was it. We can go down, and that's it.
kilohertz as far as we can go. So 150 kilohertz is the very, very top end. So that's pretty slow. Good for audio stuff, 150 kilohertz. Let's go back down the other direction. See how slow it will go. Sometimes that's more useful. Seven kilohertz, four kilohertz, one kilohertz. Oh, and now we're in hertz, I guess. So 775 hertz. Let's see if that's, let's see if that's uh, true or not. 775, and we are at 777.4. So, yeah, it's not quite accurate. All right, we'll see how slow it goes. Four forty. Uh, ninety six hertz. Ooh, zero. Well, it goes down to zero. Can we do one hertz? It says one hertz. And then zero. So let's say, let's put it on one hertz and see if it's doing anything. There we go. One hertz. Bonk, 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 bonk. Up and down, up and down. So it's pretty nice. So it's a nice little low end thing. It's probably a um, nice uh, replacement for a 555 timer in your circuit. A lot of times you, you put in a 555 because it's easy to do, but then you don't really know what it's set to, whereas this is digitally set. And so if you wanted to have, uh, you know, exactly uh, 20, 20 hertz, um, there you go. And then maybe the duty cycles uh, uh, of interest as well. So, uh, yeah, so cute little, cute little part. Uh, this display is all messed up. So right out of the box, it was damaged. I don't know what happened to it, but it's missing some some stuff there and up there. So I don't really care. It's just a cheap little thing and it'll do what it does. Little backlit, uh, backlit, uh, LCD. Yeah. Anyway. So if you're thinking about buying one, it seems to work. Uh, it's good for low frequency stuff, 150 kilohertz and down. And if you need a square wave, it looks like it's a nice sharp, nice sharp, uh, square wave. So, uh, good, uh, whacking up and down. I'm not sure what the voltage range is on this thing. Since it's got digital parts on it, I'm assuming it's uh, somewhere around 5 volts, to be sure. Um, let's see. We are getting out. Let's see. Let's take a look up here. Uh, we are at 2 volts per division. So, yeah, it's whacking up and down 5 volts. So, I guess that little regulator is probably a 5-volt regulator, so you could input a little bit more than, uh, than 5 volts in this thing. And it shouldn't shouldn't move. Well, maybe it does. There's six volts. Well, maybe it does. Maybe that's not a regulator. Hmm. I don't know what the range is on this thing. I don't want to go much above that. If it's a digital chip, it'll fry. But anyway, I would use it at five volts and uh, call it good. There you go.